Okay, welcome to episode 10.1. <laughs> so yeah, we I'll showcase this. So as I said, my schedule has I've been trying to hold it off. I did post episode the original episode one on Wednesday. Ooh, CLJ a thousand. But I didn't post the um what is this? No, I don't need it. I didn't I didn't I'm not gonna this one's gonna be up a day after that, which is Thursday the eighteenth. And yeah, what I want to show you guys though, first of all, one word, or two maybe, record breaking. Look, 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 wait, look let's look at our roots first. Thanks to our A380s, we have made money. <laughs> Not history, but money. How much roots is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one million dollar roots. And five of them are over one million dollars. Um, yeah, so, pretty good, but here's the stunning part, you go aircraft, let's go to the last ones, we have 800 aircraft, by the way, <laughs> a lot of planes, we need to put put up on routes, that is what, one airplane, A380, obviously, making 1.3 million dollars, all of our A380s are higher than anything else, followed by some 747s and these things <laughs> like look at this these a 3 is i'm like oh it's a bit of a waste of money and i'm not gonna use them much i was wrong <laughs> these things make so much money you can pay all of them off this is one million dollars you could pay that off in a year for the actual airplane that's crazy <laughs> probably actually less since it's 1.3 million I got a route to 1.5 million, by the way, but it was blue and I was probably wasting aircraft because I had to replace. Uh, because what I do, how I get the a 3 to make so much money, is I um, I just close the flights and replace them with a 3 on our really profitable flights. Actually, I'll show you what I do right now. So if we go to routes, I might do it with 747s since a 3 are becoming too big. Well, not really. They're matching the demand when I do this. Basically, one A380 flight has the same potential as two. I've tried this one. I don't really want to do it. Has is the potential of two A330, 300, or triple seven 200, A340, A340 flights. So yeah. See, this is twelve thousand. So if we add flights, forty six that uh, forty six slots at Kuala Lump, Lumpur in uh, Malaysia. Get, let me guess the Malaysian Airlines. Yeah, and smile. Okay, so if we do uh, add flights, there's our A380. Do we have one left? No, but what I, I'll show you what I do. I select this. So I say the 747 here. I select that. Then I add the flights and I close all the other flights that were on there before. That's how I make my A380s get so much money. But since I don't have any like left. Sorry guys, I'm, this is just updates, as you might know, it's hard to do a series. But in episode 10.0, I opened regional expansions to, uh, yeah, you guys probably, I'm probably going to miss a lot because I had so much going on between last Saturday and this Wednesday or Thursday. So what we have also done is we also opened a new hub in uh bangalore which by the way that was the one that emo foods used to be in not chennai i made a mistake but yeah so we completely like we don't everywhere that we go to uh delhi and uh uh mumbai sorry we go with chennai now or roughly there's probably like one or two but we can easily fix that um now I'm doing the same thing on Bangalore and then probably another city until we get like 10 hubs in them. The 10th hub will be like, I don't know, 100 passengers to London. <laughs> it, will, it will get probably that bad. That's the thing, the, the more routes we open, the more less demand there's going to be and the more less planes we're going to use and then the more planes we're going to have stacked up in our inventory doing nothing. That's, what, that's the only thing about India, there's only two big cities and uh about three or four medium small ones so yeah oh yeah and by the way it's 2008 since the boeing 787 took a while to come into the market we order it three years earlier and we ordered 50 of them as you can imagine because 
Who doesn't want one? <laughs> no one doesn't want one. And also, our uh, A320s are overloading, so I'm going to stop ordering. We're going to reach 200, which has broken another record uh, for for um, the most amount of one kind of plane I've had. And also, another record with breaking is reaching $100 billion value within the first 10 years of the game. And also, we are our sixth spot. Hang on, let me check this. So, Jockey Airlines, we're creeping up to... Uh, Republic very very slowly we just have to keep expanding and keep yeah that's we're gonna have to put our um, wages up but that means that we'll lose this I don't know what to do put wages up and not get fifth fourth and third or put wages up get a high reputation and not really affect anything so obviously I don't want to put the reputation up because all my roots are 100% anyways always checking for that like whenever I wake up I go I check my roots to see if they're 100% 100, uh, 100 full, at least on economy, because that's basically 80% of the airplane, but, yeah, okay, so, um, as you saw, we just got a 777 LR ordered, so we're going to browse some airports from Bangalore, and I, if you thought Chennai was dis 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 sorry, disappointing, wait till you see Bangalore, so 9200, because we have the 777s from BLR. We've actually expanded a lot more into the American, North American market than I think we would. Because we have like probably 15 cities in there, all using A340s and 777 200 LRs. So, yeah. Okay, what have we got? Sao Paulo. Oh, Sa oh, I thought Sao Paulo had gates. Because, yeah, we can't expand into South America. I'm not joking. There is zero slots in every single airport. In Brazil and around the Argentina, you name it, in South America, zero slots everywhere. So we stuck with these kind of apples. Charlotte Douglas, they're not bad. I'm saying they're the United States, one of the biggest flight places in the world. Contains about a third of the world's aviation. I've heard. 122. That's three. Triple, yeah, this is what I do when I open my uh, flights. So this is three triple seven and two hundred dollar flights. Do we have here? Yeah, we have excess. We have one here, and then we have two there. Okay, perfect. That's three. I can open another two routes over eight thousand three hundred miles because eight thousand three hundred miles is the A two E eight no A three D A two forty three hundred E's limit. I don't know what E is. All the other Airbus ones when they do E R is usually R for range, but E. I, I don't get it. It's like a standout. Just look at this. Phoenix. 1, 9,169. 9, I'm, sure. I'm pretty sure that's the exact range of that 777-200LR in um, full uh, capacity. So if it had 440 seats, which is crazy. But I do 9,200 since we have less than 400 seats and it can, you know, no, I wish they could just glide. I wish we could go like we could glide 300,000 miles and go to places like I don't actually I don't think we will need to go anywhere further than this. The only place I can think of is Argentina down there, but you know, we don't need to go to Argentina for no, for because we can. But it's not going to make us money, it'll probably make us like 90k something. That's actually quite impressive, 315k. Okay, come on. Hurry up. Um, damn it. Oh yeah, South Paul, of course. Of course. We're, yeah, Phoenix Sky Harbor. There's zero slots, but luckily we only use like three slots every time we fly here. <laughs> so there's heaps of left. That's two. Oh god, yeah, obviously that's two because of that. Which will use one third instead of one quarter of an airplane. Of the triple seven. 440. Wait, let's see. Triple seven two hundred LR. It oh god, ten miles. If that was if that was twenty miles, we'd have that. It would be like four hundred and thirty, but it'll still be think uh, gray because we have exactly four hundred seats there. But jeez, there's a lot in. in wait, what? <laughs> we in the top. What to expect? I love this airplane. Yeah, but the thing that would be even better is the A three fifty nine hundred R. 
It's a tiny bit smaller, but there's always a bug, yes. Oh, damn it. I didn't put the flights on. No? Please no. Um, it has a longer range, the uh, AC-40. I think it fly 2,000. It's it's 9,200 and something, probably 50 around there. But that means it could probably uh, uh, like fly 2,000, I mean 9,300 because you know how we don't put the full seats because we don't torture our passengers with very little leg room. Well, we actually do try to get in as most seats as possible. <sighs> but we don't torture them with leg room like that. We don't put 440 seats into it. <laughs> to a 777 like that so we, we have no competition but who else would fly this I mean I don't think there is any other Indian airline who has ever bought a 777-200LR on this game probably like one but flew it to New York or something no there's probably been one because this game's been around for like five years it's got to have been one but I'm saying it's not that like unrare it's quite rare Minneapolis well, can we can with our A340s. Minneapolis eh, competition A340 500s by Da Vinci. Is it? A340s, don't let me. Oh god. Why not? We'll, we still have this. We'll, we will put two flights. Why not? Because it won't be a significance. Only 12 people that won't be on the plane will pretty much seem full. And probably so full because. Right, anyways, let's see. And is it less than a hundred? No, it's actually not. Since this competition, we need to put the price down. The Vinci, uh, one thousand two hundred. <laughs> That's how extreme it is. It's like doing business class to London. <laughs> and this is like doing first class, and first class is like doing freaking Sky Hotel. <laughs> Imagine that Sky. A sky hotel. That'd be cool. You just like fly to your destination in a hotel for really rich people. Why don't I open a new tab? Oh, whatever. I'll close it. Don't need it. Okay. So, wait. Save. Did we just glitch the system? Hang on. No, we didn't. Okay, good. Now let's go back to browse airports. Go back one more so we can type it in. Yes, okay, so guys, this is what I do most of the time on airline empires. Is just buy, 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 and fly them to different places and make money and then repeat the whole process. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Since we run out of those, we're gonna have to do seven thousand five hundred. Yeah, the um seven four sevens range from Bangalore. I don't think we're gonna need a 747, but if it's got like 7,300 we use about two or three flights from it, we get that nice flight there. Okay, what is? Um, oh God, Copenhagen five. Yeah, this is where we might need to use a 747. We need a link. Unless, yeah, we're gonna need to use one. This thing is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Sorry, I close this. Come on. Um, I pressed. I, pr I pressed it. Okay, there we go. Wasn't loading for some reason. Obviously, there's going to be some comp. Oh, never mind. Two hundred eighty-eight. That's seven flights with a seven six seven. Or the equivalent. One problem: we don't have enough schedule f f slots. We need four, I think, with this guy. The big guy there, okay. At least we're using our 747s because we hardly ever use them on these two airports since they're so small. You so small, you so damn it. small, damn it. You're not making me enough money. Oh, look at that nice demand match. Okay, 420. That's pretty good for not even using a whole airplane. <sighs> the 747 will probably be making. I want to say 600k, 700k, or maybe even one of our most profitable. So what have we got? Jeju. We're going to have to use another one. Can it land on a 9,800 feet runway? We're just about to find out. 346. 
that is five of them. Or, okay, we can actually use an A330. Yeah, by the way, I bought some of these guys on the used market. These really good airplanes, A330s. We use seven flights. Actually, I don't want to use. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to use uh, five of the 747. Just use those excess ones. These are like the second biggest. I don't know why. I think they meant to put 705, but the um. 747-8 can only hold 605 passengers. It's got to be a, a typo in the coding system. <laughs> There's probably a lot of those. So we're actually making quite good demand estimates for what we need to put. Okay, 610, 1,075, why not? 175, jeez, am I that crazy? Okay, uh, 2,250. There we go. You guys, this is probably boring for you. So I'm going to kind of cut the the video right here, and I'll show you guys in about ten minutes. Yeah, okay, ten minutes. Let's make it ten minutes. Bye bye. Hey guys, um. So, yeah, I've, I've just been opening more routes on Brisbane now. Now, I forgot to buy some used aircraft. Let's see what there is. A3. Oh, I've only used these, but <laughs> I completely forgot about the A318s. Wow, there's actually a lot of these guys. I like the range on them, but mm, I don't like the, the capacity. Um, okay, what is it? <gasps> no ways! I, that's mine. Give me an A380 on the used market. You don't see that every day. <laughs> okay, now I can show you guys what I do with my A380s. Wait, does that mean I'm like the top A380? Uh, let's see, A380. I'm gonna click on it. So, um, damn it. Okay, so A380. I've actually never bought an A380 in the used market before. That's a first. It's quite expensive. Jeez. Anyways, there we go. One year old, but that's a bargain. Okay, let's see. Home airline details, whatever, whatever. Okay. A38800. Are we like the top comp? I mean, not top. But I've been the launch customer for this once. It's quite nice. Anyways, we are the top operator of the A38 because of that used purchase. Let's see if there's more. There could be more. I doubt there will be there. Yeah, there's no more. What is there? Any good Boeing airplanes? Well, some good Boeing airplanes is definitely like some triple seven two hundred ZRs. I'll get those free ish. Well, I mean free as in time because time is annoying and we don't get enough planes in time. But yet again, I'm stacking up airplanes in the hundreds almost, and I don't know what to do with them. But I still like buying them. That's the the thing is you have to keep on buying airplanes. <laughs> okay, let's configure the camera layout for them. I'm so glad I recorded that. <laughs> an A380 on the used market. Who the hell would sell an A380 on the used market? Some guy, thanks to him, I'm probably going to be making another million dollars a day. More than I used to. <laughs> because I'm going to get the plane that I replaced it with and make millions of dollars with it. So what, I'll show you what I do with uh, my A380s. Now go to, no, not that, what am I doing? Roots. Click on the nice big blue tab there, and then we go to dish. Oh wait, no, not aircraft street. So daily profit. So we have Xian. Wait, Xian? Why is Xian up there? Xian's a small city. Oh, that makes sense. There's no competition. That's why. <laughs> okay, so we'll try to do it on Xian. As you can see, the demand is roughly one thousand. Let's close all of our A320 flights and A330 flights, but one. So close them up. So what I do with this, this is how I replace planes because I don't want to do the, I don't want to have to redo the prices. Actually, I didn't have to because it's not competition. Well, I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, let's get our A380 on. Uh, where is it? Where is it? That beautiful A380. There it is. Okay. 11. We can... It can go over, I mean, more money. Under, under, under no competitors, you can go like 200, um, 
200 over the uh, market and still get money like green for. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Another one million dollar rule. So that's how I make money, guys. <laughs> Probably giving away too much hints and you guys can take over my island and destroy my series. <laughs> ah! Nah, probably not. I doubt you anyone watches this. <laughs> so 1.2, that's actually like in the top 5 routes. In Xi'an, Xi'an's so small, look at it. Hang on. Yeah, Xi'an. I know passengers, 30 million. Actually, that's not too bad. It's about the same size as Chennai. Maybe not because we're in Chennai. <laughs> that's where we make, we make all the passengers go from Chennai. Because as if my route's not 100%, I classified as a not good group. <laughs> okay. Are we in there? Yeah, we're 3%. It's got some good... Fl Whoa, that's a big flight. What is that? New York? Something like that. The Great OP. These are my two competitors I compete against. MTD Corp's third and Fool's Tower's like eighth. Actually, no, he's like fifth. I don't know where he's. All I know is he's either above me Oh, but I started looking up real life flights there, because I could. <laughs> okay, um, let's go back to browsing aircraft. That was a good find. Actually, browsing aircraft, not a good idea. Ending the episode, actually, would be a better idea. And, oh, before that, I'm going to give you a little preview of my history lately. Because, you know, I don't want to make, make my episodes too long. I so saw the first half was like 16 minutes. It's probably going to be a 30 minute episode. Which I know you guys won't watch, you'll probably watch like 10 seconds of it and leave because it's so boring. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just do this because it's YouTube. It's your stuff. you the one who wants to put it there. It's not for anyone else, really, unless you're making money off it, then it matters. <laughs> okay, cash, that's our cash. Our value, though, is increasing, like, if we look at the one year, it's not going too bad. Okay, uh, daily operating profit. It's been increasing steadily. Airline rank is slowly increasing. There was a bit where it took over three airlines. They seem to be in clusters. Jeez, actually took two in the same thing. <laughs> there, there seems to be clusters. Like, I keep jumping from higher cluster. So I was in the cluster of, like, 100 million. Now I'm trying to get to the 150 million cluster. Because I'm, like, 110 million. But, yeah. The yeah, routes and passengers... Uh, passengers haven't been increased that much with that destination, sorry. Daily passengers, here's what I want to see. Nice, increasing, all we want to see is increasing, daily flights. Yeah, oh yeah, and by the way guys, quickly, um, if you, if you like my Airline Empires video, and you think that it should deserve a thumbs up, then do it yourself, you can put that thumbs up yourself, you don't need to feel bad about not, does it, not making anything to do with it. So you can put that thumbs up if you want to, and also subscribe for my future channel. That's I mean my fu future channel, future content. Sorry, I'm a bit messed up today. My future content, which would be Airline Empires, Minecraft, and also other random little things. And also, um, this is episode ten. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, what's it called? Milestone. So yeah, also leave a like for that because likes are what we do for the celebration. And hopefully, the series I'm estimating will be about 30 to 35 episodes because 10 episodes in the first or my third of the game, like between third and a quarter. I don't know. And yeah, so we end episode 10. Actually, didn't think I'd make any series this far. <laughs> okay, I want to check out aircraft and it's back to the gameplay itself. These things here, the orders, yeah, they've gone down, we haven't ordered so much, because we've had, like, uh, leased aircraft, we haven't, yeah, we have to buy back our leased aircraft, we've got 12 of them. Average fleet utilisation, this is bumpy, but it's quite low, because we have a lot of idle planes, and also, and also average fleet age, as you can expect, it's very high at the beginning, from used airplanes, and it went down to 1.1, and it's coming up, it's like 6 here, we're gonna enter the age, Mid age or the age of replacements, so we're gonna have to keep replacing our airplanes. So that's what most of our airplanes will be used for, so we don't have to just make them sit there. <laughs> and our reputation is not really that much increasing. You can see the employee morale keeps bouncing around for some reason, 
and, and it affects the average reputation by one point one percent. It was his all. You know, it's not that fun. What is this one? Uh, that's network reputation. Alliance reputation is this uh, one. So when I joined the alliance, I was still growing. Then I got to six hundred. Must be going like near through the roof right there anyway guys so that would be a good point to end this episode of LA Empires. hopefully you enjoyed it sorry for the one day delayed schedule not really delayed though just replacement one day after gonna delete my other one probably and yeah i'll see you guys at next episode 11 where hopefully we'll be in a new hub again <laughs> let's get to the point where we get a new hub every episode every four days we get a new hub it's actually one in the in-game year. Jeez. Okay, see you guys. I like celery. I think you should all know that I like celery. Anyway, seriously, bye. Jockey.